Hello everyone, I hope you're ready. We are here to deploy a DHCP scope on the wireless LAN controller. DHCP? I thought that was on the router. Well, we're going to deploy a DHCP scope, which is very similar to a DHCP pool, but we're going to do this on the wireless LAN controller. And we're going to do this because we want to provide management IP addressing to management devices using DHCP, all controlled from the WLC. Now, this is a specific use here. We're going to provide IP addressing to management devices. We're talking access points that are joining our wireless LAN controller, and we're talking to possibly a management PC that would be used to configure the wireless LAN controller. So let's get started. Just a quick reminder here as we get started in configuring the wireless LAN controller, but we are going to be configuring a DHCP scope, not for providing hundreds of users IP addressing. We're creating a DHCP scope to provide dynamic addressing to management devices on the management network, which includes a management machine, as well as our lightweight access points that'll be joining with our controller. So let's get started. We're gonna go into the advanced section first. When I click on advanced, we'll have our new screen come up. And inside of this area, we're gonna go into controller. Within controller on the left side, we're gonna look for the internal DHCP server. And again, this is very similar to a DHCP pool on a router. DHCP scope looks just like a DHCP pool. I'll click on DHCP scope and we'll see we're gonna have an address pool, lease time, and some other info. Let's get started by clicking new and you'll give ourselves a scope name, such as management underscore IPs. That's a beautiful name for management purposes. With the name of management IPs, I can click on that name I've created It'll load a new screen for me to fill out all the information regarding my DHCP scope. We're going to begin with the pool start address, and this is going to be the first IP address that I'm going to have my DHCP service provide on this management subnet. And that'll be 192.168.200.220. This is the first IP address I'd like to provide on this management network by using this DHCP scope. And the last IP address would be the pool end address. I'll make that 192.168.200.240. In all, I'll be providing up to 20 IP addresses using this management scope. It allows me to deploy up to 20 lightweight access points or a dozen and then some other IPs for management purposes. The network itself is 192.168.200.0 and the subnet mask for this management network is all 255s ending with a dot zero. The least time we can leave at the default. The default router is the exit point for the network. That is not us on 200.254. We're a controller. The exit point is going to be the router's IP address, which is router R1, which is 192.168.200.1. Our scope is good. We need to just enable this. So we'll change the status from disabled to enabled, and we can go ahead and click apply. Our scope is now created on the wireless LAN controller, and now we can verify it's ready to be allocated to a new wireless local area network.